and here we go. We have some breaking news coming out of Minnesota. The Vikings are getting on the board. We've seen them already make big upgrades to their linebacking core, but now they're coming out with a defensive back uh, signing here. Now, according to Jordan Schultz, free agent cornerback Shaq Griffin is signing with the Vikings on a one-year deal up to six million dollars according to Bleacher Report. Now in this video we're gonna break down everything you need to know about Shaq Griffin and what he brings to this Minnesota Vikings team. However before we jump into the video do me a big favor Comment down below a letter grade so far for the Vikings. We already said they brought in Jonathan Grenard. They brought in Andrew Van Ginkle, Blake Cashman, right? That's three, four new stars on the defense. Plus offensively brought in Aaron Jones and Sam Darnold, Trent Sherfield. They've done a really good job so far this offseason, but still have a lot of work to do. Give me a grade down below on this signing and the entire offseason si um, signings. And also subscribe if you're new. It's free. doesn't cost anything to subscribe. With that being said, let's jump right into Shaq Griffin. Now, back in 2017, Shaq Griffin was a third-round pick, number 90 overall to the Seattle Seahawks. And since then, the man has been extremely talented, extremely vital, and really important to a bunch of NFL teams, including Seattle from 2017 to 2020. He then signed as a free agent to Jacksonville in 2021, played there um, in, until 2022, and then most recently, the Houston Texans and the Carolina Panthers. Now, Shaq Griffin is a guy that can do it all, right? Coming out of the draft back in 2017, he had the perfect size of an NFL cornerback, and quite frankly, he still does. Six foot, 198, only 28 years old, so not too old, not too young, an NFL veteran at this point of his career. Now, when you look at his stats for his career, you can tell a couple of things, right? The man is a willing tackler, and that's something you need out of a defensive back in the NFL in this day and age. A lot of guys don't like to tackle, especially when you're going up a guy like, you know, Derrick Henry. You want to make tackles, right? Zach Griffin is a guy who doesn't care. He's going to come out there and he's going to try his absolute best on every single possession, but can also keep up. I mean, what a play right here. Almost gets, or actually, oh my God, barely doesn't. But look at this play, the concentration in the air, right? Catching up, right? There's a step here from Corlin Sutton. You know, maybe a little bit underthrown, gets his hand up in there, and look at the almost concentration. This is a different type of level of football right here. Different level of concentration. Almost gets an insane interception. Man, come down, came down to his fingertips. But over his career, over 366 tackles, 290 of those were solo. He has one sack, a forced fumble, seven interceptions. Not really a guy who's going to force too many interceptions, but like we just saw there, a guy who can really interrupt passes, right? 64 pass deflections as well as 10 run stuffs. Now, right away, what I look at when I look at this deal, right? You look at the one year. And then you also look at Minnesota's defense. You have guys like Josh Martellus. You have guys like a Caleb Evans, right? And then you have a guy like Byron Murphy, Andrew Booth. This signing, he might not be a day one starter, but what he will bring is veteran leadership, a locker room leader, and also a guy who could come in here and help develop some of the younger guys, right? We look at Andrew Booth. Um, maybe didn't take that jump up in year one and two that we really thought he was going to or, you know, from 2022 to 2023. But Shaq Griffin's a guy who can really help him get to where he's he needs to be, right? Also, you look at Byron Murphy, another guy who uh, was an early round pick of Arizona, hasn't lived up to the hype yet, but also, again, the Vikings really do believe in Byron Murphy, they believe in a Caleb Evans, they think these guys can be really good, and what what's better than bringing in a veteran who has been extremely talented over his career, you know, very, you know, aggressive a good tackler right you need all these things in the nfl as as a db and to bring it over here to the vikings it's just smart right one year six year deal or one year six million dollar deal you talk about low risk you talk about high reward and the high reward in this scenario is not getting an all pro defender it's probably not gonna happen right but it is getting a guy who can come in and help develop some of your younger guys mold them into players that we know they can be while as at the same time, having a guy that can be a spot starter. Now, for example, if Byron Murphy, if a Caleb Evans has to miss a game, Jack Griffin is a guy who can plug right in, right? You'll be a spot starter. I think this is a low-risk, easy deal. 
easy deal. I mean, why not go out and bring in a guy like Shaq Griffin? Last season, the Minnesota Vikings actually ranked number 22 in sack percentage, number 24 in pass yards allowed per game, number 32. They were the worst defense in the NFL in terms of completion percentage allowed. They needed to get better. Not only do they get better, they had a veteran, add someone who could help develop, add a guy who's not afraid to tackle, and a guy who can spot start. I mean, this is easy money. I would hate this deal if it was like a three or four year deal obviously but since it's a one year prove it type of deal maybe you can sign him to another one year extension after it if he does do his job well enough but man this is a good deal um low risk and i i love the potential reward that you're getting here in shack griffin let me know what you guys think about the deal hit the like button subscribe if you're new join the family i think minnesota's off to a good start obviously still a lot of work to do here need a quarterback right uh need some more help on the defensive line nose tackle some depth in that position uh, other than that maybe some old line depth and i think this team is, is is really really tough i think they're they're physical they got some developing to do but if that development does come this is going to be a, a really good football team depending on who the quarterback is maybe it is sam donald maybe he does have that extra uh you know step in his game nowadays but i think if they draft someone this year next year i think this team could be uh extremely different let me know what you guys think hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace